Hey, welcome back. In this lecture, I'll give you an overview of the different programming languages that exist out there and what each of these languages can do. So let's begin. So what is a programming language, first of all? Well, a programming language is a tool that you use to, to communicate with computers. Just like we use human languages to communicate with each other, uh, you use these tools, this language, to communicate with computers. The rules are very strict, so there's something called the syntax, which means if you write a language, you have to be very strict, so you have to use a colon. When it is supposed to be used, you have to use a break line, some space. So you have to, to, to learn this syntax to be able to, for the computer, to understand you. Now, programming languages are divided into two big categories, low-level programming languages and high-level programming languages. Most of the programmers, maybe 90%, 99%, use high-level programming languages. Um, low-level programming languages are harder to, to, le to learn and also to, to write, and these are understandable by machines, so more like in the CPU level. Uh, but nowadays we write high-level programming languages, which looks more like a human language. For example, Python, JavaScript, Java, these are all high-level programming languages. So you don't have to worry about low-level programming languages. Then we have another categorization of uh, languages, of programming languages. So the first one was low level and high level, but we can also categorize languages the way they execute. That would be compiled languages and interpreted languages. For example, uh, C++ is a compiled language and Python is an interpreted language. What is the difference here? Uh, well, you'll learn that later and it's not a big of a deal to understand the difference, but compiled languages, they take an extra step to translate the code uh, you write into some machine code. So that makes the program slightly faster to execute, uh, but the downside is that these languages are a bit harder to learn. So the syntax is a bit more complex. Languages like Python are more friendly to, to learn and use. And nowadays, regarding the speed of execution, nowadays this is less important because computers have gone very powerful. So these differences can be negligible. Now let's look at the different programming languages that exist out there. We'll go into more detail in the next lectures, um, but let's just mention them. So uh, let's start with Python. Python is beginner friendly. Um, it has the most clear syntax of all the languages. Um, that's one of the reason it is uh, very popular. But the other reason why Python is so popular is that it is used in many areas of software development. Uh, for example, it's great for web development, so for building web apps. We'll look into more details in each uh, lecture. So for different types of software development, we'll look into what these are. So what is web development, what is uh, GUI development, etc. So Python is good for web development and data science, automation. Python can also do desktop apps with graphical use, uh, user interfaces, um, but there are better languages for that. Even though Python can build GUI apps, desktop apps, uh, languages such as C Sharp or Java are better in that aspect. Then we have JavaScript. JavaScript is great for creating the front end of websites. So I mentioned web development with Python. You can build the back end of web development. I'll explain later in the course what is the back end, what is the front end. So Python builds the back end and JavaScript builds the front end, the things that the user sees in conjunction with HTML also. Uh, you built the front end of a website, the, the thing that the user looks at. We'll look at that later. 
that was JavaScript about the front end. Um, then we have Java. Java, as I mentioned, is good for um, desktop GUI apps. Um, so things you use uh, in a computer, programs you install in a computer, and also for Android development. Then we have C++, which is a language popular for building games and also high performance tasks. So whenever you, you need that very high performance in a piece of software, C++ uh, is considered to be the best for that. We also have languages such as SQL, which is a bit of a special language because it deals with databases. So to query data from a database, a database being a software installed in a computer or in a server to serve data to the user. So SQL stands here in the middle to get the data from the database, give it to, to the user and so on. We'll look at that later in more detail. Now, what language should you choose to learn? Uh, because there are many options. Well, the answer is obvious. You should know what you want to build later in your career and choose that language. But if you're not clear about that, then Python is a great choice because it does a lot of things and uh, it's also easy to learn, as I mentioned. So it would be a great language to at least start learning to program. Then you can learn the other languages uh, easier once you have learned Python. That being said, my opinion is that it's not very important what language you choose to learn programming. All languages, they all go around the same concepts, variables, data types, and for loops, and if conditionals. These are very standard concepts for every programming language. It's only the syntax which changes a bit, so perhaps you use a column, perhaps you use a semicolon with another language, and so on. So this is just syntax which is easy to learn. Um, but with every language, you'll be able to learn uh, the concept and the logic how to build the programs. Uh, so the logic is what is important. And all languages, all, pro all, all courses you learn will include that part of how to build the logic of a program. So to recap, we have different programming languages for different things, to build different things. Python can build almost everything. And in the next videos, we'll look into more details into the different software development types or different programs, in other words, and also talk about the languages more. I'll see you in the next videos.